Hey, how you doing? Uh, don't mind how I look. It's hot out here, and I've been working on this go-kart. And, uh, I did some things to it. So, you know, the last time you've seen the video, I don't know if you've seen where it was took apart and everything. I can't remember. But, uh, I'm about to show you what I did. And, uh, of course you can see the yellow on me. I did some. I'm not done. I'm going to have to get some more paint. You know, because apparently three cans wasn't enough. It's going to take maybe two, two and a half more cans. But I'm almost done. You know, I got the rest of the bottom. You know, and some touch up. You know, find places that's got orange on it. And paint them yellow. And, uh, I'm glad I covered the engine. <laughs> But the other stuff is going to have some yellow on it, but oh well. But uh, let me show you what I did. Okay. I finally got my tool today. And uh, this right here. The back out tool I was talking about, about taking the tire off. That's this right here. And I got standard and metric. And I got the breaker bar. I finally got the tires off. All I got to do is get them done. And uh, this is the cart so far. Yeah, that's the color it's going to be. And it looks pretty good. Kind of looks good on the video. Uh, up close, you know, you can see spots where I ain't done yet. And then there's spots up here, you know, right here on the floorboard. And there's some spots up here on the front that I noticed. You know, like right up in there. I have to get right up there. And then there's some other spots in there. And I was thinking about doing the bottom too. If I have enough left over in the tube. I'm probably going to get three more cans. And that way. I'll have it. But I got the axle. Finally got it put on. And I got the new brake system on. Right there. And I had to put it on because. The way it's made. You know, it's like that. Oh and I have this side to finish. I gotta finish that side right there. Ran out. I wish I had enough. I wouldn't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna leave the gas tank like it is. But that's not attached to it. But take that off. I'm gonna leave it like it is. But I'm gonna clean it. You know, wipe it down and clean it. You know, make it look better. But uh, once I get that done, and I'm not gonna worry about the thing. And I got the money. I sold the PS3. So I have the money to get the wiring harness now. I just have to put the money in the bank and then uh, order the part, stuff like that. And when I get it, then hopefully it'll work. It better. Well, I'm going to be pissed. But uh, as you can see, you know, I put some of the pieces back on it. You know, the piece that was supposed to be there, you know, right here, I put that back on. Those actually slid on pretty easy, which is good. And I tightened it up. You know, it lines up, which is good. And got it all tightened up and everything. Yeah. So, that's good. No play in it. I don't know how it's supposed to be, but I don't like playing my shit. And I got to get back there, too. Yes. You know, it's, it's getting there. It actually looks pretty good like that. I think I did pretty good so far. I just have to get some more paint. I might get three or more, four or more cans. And uh, I painted the little pieces that were on it, like, uh, well, the thing sitting over there, right there. But uh, I got to get right there, too. Mm -hmm. uh, some other spots on it, you know, up in here, you know, right here. Yeah, some touch-up on it. So I think I'll get four cans, for, one for touch-up, and the other three to finish it and make sure I get it and have enough. And I got to get word up under the things. I'll get it pretty good. By the time when I get done with it, it'll look a lot better. But I think it's going to look good with that yellow. And what I'm going to do is I still got to get the piece right here and bend it. And I'm going to get some black, gloss black. So that way I can do that right there. And I could probably use it for something else too. So, But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paint that's in the house. And paint these right here black 
on the inside of it, how it was. It had stickers on it, so I'm going to put the stickers back on. Oh, and I did these pieces right here. This one, yeah, you can tell I painted it. It did a pretty good job. I might do it again just for touch-up. You know, it goes right there. You know, that'll look good right there. And then these two pieces, I only need one to show you. But uh, this goes right here. So that way, you know, and I got the bolts for them right here. And then the plate, I got the bolts for that. I just have to sand it down. And I had a problem with the front ones. They came off because I think when we put the dog out, she pulled on them and they about fell down, which was kind of easy to pick up. And I see right there too. I got to get right there too. You know, that's some touch up on the inside. Surprised I was able to do this much. But that's what I've got so far. So once I get the painting done, I'm going to let it dry. And then once it dries, I'm going to put the seat belts on first. And then uh, put the seats in. And then put, well first, I'm going to put the, uh, once I get done painting, First thing I'm going to do is put the uh, piece right there, the uh, uh, suspension part, front suspension. Put all that back on there, but I'm going to take this bag right here when it dries and cut it in half. You know, cut it halfway and then wrap it around the ends so that way when I put it back up front, it won't mess up the yellow and get grease on it, stuff like that. Mess it up. And uh, then, and then start, you know. And then after I get that, then I'm gonna put the lights on, you know, put the seat belt, probably seat belts, then the seat, and that way I can run the cable how it's supposed to go. Put the brake system in, you know. Once I get the front suspension, I'll have all of them. Well, actually, the back's already done, and I'll hook up the. Uh, I still got to hook up the. Uh, uh, handbrake thing so that way it'll stay in place and I'm pretty sure with the new one it'll hold so I'm sure of that I just hadn't pushed any brake or anything and I still got to get bolt for the brake at the front to hold in place those were fun to take out but I'll get it but anyways you know I painted a little bit right there but that's all right it's not gonna hurt nothing but it's in there and uh as you can see you know once i get the tires on and get it running and everything i'll be happy then i can test drive it and take you on a test ride and uh you can see how it does but first i'm gonna make sure everything works before i start riding it and have everything the way it's supposed to be but with the handbrake like that and i got to make sure to reverse and forward work and do that and then uh once I put the tires on, I'm going to bring it back down. Well, maybe not yet. I'm going to test it first to make sure to reverse and forward work pretty good before I do anything. So that way, you know, it's not going to hurt nothing. But I might have to get the paint tomorrow unless we can go to Walmart tonight and get it. And I'll just finish tomorrow. Or I could get the paint tomorrow, get her to get it. Just get her to take a bottle with her and get the one I need. But, um, the cigarette went out. Oh, well. Uh, it was something else. Um, well, I sanded it as much as I could, the best I could. And I think I did pretty good, you know, considering, you know, how much rust and paint chips it had and everything. You know, it's not going to look the best, but at least it'll work, you know. The paint job, I'm going to try and cover everything. You know, I might miss something, I don't know. But I'm going to try and get it the best I can. Uh, I might get three or four cans. They're like three something a piece. Expensive. But I might have a buyer for it. And uh, I told him 2500 which I probably put about 12 15 in it so far. So, well, probably more than that. But... 
tools too and then shipping and all that crap but uh 2500 and that'll help me buy the most sucker i want to get and some extra money and i'm going to pay one of my loans off so that way i took care of and i'll have a little bit extra money to pay my other bills but uh there's some spots like i still gotta do you know i gotta remember to move my phone because i almost sprayed it because uh, when you spray it you know the fumes and everything the extra paint you know flies off in the wind so as you can see i got it on my shirt but uh i think it's gonna look good yeah it glistens in the sun which is really cool you know that's really cool didn't realize it did that it's a gloss paint so it's getting there yeah but once i get that you know i'm not gonna leave it like that because it'll look crappy i'm gonna finish it and i might do the bottom too i don't know i might just leave the bottom like it is give it some style you know give it a thing of its own uh, i forgot to do the bar right there the bar going across i forgot to do that one damn it oh well i'll get it but if i paint the i might even paint the uh springs a different color you know put a flash of yellow on it so that way it's got the yellow red tint to it that would actually look pretty cool it'll match but uh it's getting there if i paint them black pieces it ain't gonna matter you know at least it matches the top part and uh i got more covered up so i don't tear it mess up the motor so that's why i did that because you see the yellow on the bag i'm glad i did that plus when i was sanding it you know i didn't want it to get in there but i'm gonna spray it back out again some more paint stuff i missed paint chip things but it says it dries fast yeah it dried pretty quick so it's pretty good but that's what i got so far so as soon as i uh get done painting it i'm gonna start putting stuff on i won't have the tires on it yet but i will have everything else in there and show you what it looks like you know put everything back on and the steering part you know all i gotta do is straighten it and put the straight part on it you know make it straight how it was and i can always adjust it what i need to and i'll have it and then once i get that everything be done well minus the engine and I'm going to order that, and I'll probably get that sometime next week. And I just do that on the weekend with the wire harness. And that way I can have that. But a little bit of touch-up on the front. You know, a little touch-up right there. And finish the uh, thing and on the side. You know, and right back here. Well, right back here. And up on the rack. Finish the front. And on the side over there that I showed you. And that'll be it on the painting. So hopefully I'll be able to get the paint tomorrow, this evening or tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry I'm dirty. But uh, the hardest part, I wanted to finish that axle. And I finally got it. So, And I did good on it. You know, they put the motor on and I'm happy about that. So I did what I wanted to. And it's actually turning out the way I want it to. Everything is going into place. You know, I had a few hiccups, you know, mainly with the motor. But once I get that motor, I get it to crank up. It was, that's half the problem right there. You know, once I get that, the engine part, everything else is mediocre. Because while I'm waiting on the part, I'm going to have finished painting it, put all the stuff back on. You know, like, I got to put suspension, put the... First, I'm going to, before I put the lights in, I'm going to make sure I get the uh, the brake and the uh, throttle cable back on. Put them back in there. And then get the uh, the key thing, put it back in there. I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to put that black box on there. I'm just going to leave it open like it is. So that way it's easy to take off and put on. And it ain't going to have all that crap on there. It's just going to be open. And... Uh, and put the uh uh what do you call it uh the wiring harness from the front to the lights you know it's gonna have the new lights on it when i get done up front and then it's gonna have 
the line come down here and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to hook it up I'm just going to have it to where it's there because I got to get the new wiring harness and it's going to have the new piece on it for the uh, ignition and then have the at the same time I'm going to hook in the handbrake and the uh, four reverse have that put on because that's not part of the thing that's separate and tie those down put them in you know do what I said I was going to do with the 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 gear thing the shifter and uh, put the seats in that's not going to take nothing at all you know once I start getting that and get the brakes in brakes aren't going to be anything either because all I got to do is run the cable and then put the brakes through and put them on and tighten them in there you go I'm done and uh, then um, that's it you know once I get the tires and the well get that and the tires I have to do the tires that's gonna probably be about up to about fifty dollars you know I'll let you know about how much it was it's supposed to be 15 for each front tire which that's 30 already and then you figure it's gonna be about five or ten for the put it, for them to put it back on the bead put the tire back on the bead on the back and then the other one makes sure it's got the air it was supposed to and apparently I found out that the passenger side bike tires got to have a stem on it so I probably have to pay for that so it probably will be 15 10 or 15 and then that's uh, 45 and then put the air in the other one they'll probably just do that make sure it's got the air and then the old tires I'm gonna give them to the wife and she's gonna put them in her garden and put flowers in them somehow or another but uh, I can't wait to see that one. That's going to be cool. But they charge for three bucks to get rid of tires. So, But that's it. That's what I have so far. And uh, I was wearing my goggles when I did the sanding. And it got paint on them. You know, as you can see, you can see the yellow on them. You, know, you can see yellow on the front. You can see where I accidentally painted the grill. But that's just powder stuff I can wash that off ain't no biggie but once I get it done I'll have it and as you can see you know once I start getting everything done all that most of that ain't gonna be in there I might put the seats the tops back on but I got some screws let me show you I might just leave them off and they can buy their own but uh this is a new seat thing. I'll see how they look when I put them on. I might just leave them off. You know, because these are messed up. I really don't want nothing messed up on there. But, uh, they'll have to get new one of those. Which those, you know, they're not that expensive. But you have to get two of them. And they're the same for both sides. They're not separate. The head pieces are the same. But it would look nice with them on there. You know, it would be nice because your head, you know, it's still got some cushion on them. But I did get some screws that I can, I could screw them back in, you know, back into here. You know, so maybe that would help, you know, screw them back in. And that way they're in one place. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, but that's it. Until later. Later.